guys, my name is Brooke Griffin. I'm one of the instructors here at Rosewood Art Center and I am teaching the kids classes currently. Um, today I'm going to show you a craft that is a little spinning paper plate flower. <laughs> so I made a couple examples here for you guys to see. And I'm going to show you how to make them. All you'll need today um, is going to be some paper plates. I have these really teeny tiny ones. Uh, you can definitely use a full size one. You don't have to use these little guys. These are just uh, what I have available. You're gonna need some markers or crayons or colored pencils. You definitely don't have to have markers. Um, and you'll need a pair of scissors. And these little fasteners. So it's the little dudes that have the top and they spread out on two different sides to fasten. So to make your paper plate flower, you're going to first pick the color you want to start with. I think I'm going to start with a nice red. And you're just going to identify the middle of your plate. You can do a little dot, a little shape, whatever you want. Um, that's just going to help you figure out how to make the petals go around it. And when you're doing the petals, I like to do it, so I'm going to do a pointy petal right now. I'm going to draw one edge and then the other. So that's what that looks like. Now to do the second one, I'm going to rotate it around and do it on the opposite side. Just so it's relatively symmetrical to the first one that you put down. So it looks like that. And then you can go ahead and do the third and fourth petals. So picking this little space in between here, I'm gonna do that same shape. Rotate it just one more time. So this is my very first layer of it. Um, before we cut it out, we are going to color it in. So there's lots of different ways you can color in flowers. Um, you don't even have to make it look like a real flower. You can put in whatever kind of pattern you want. I like to do a little tiny petal shape within the petal. So that's what this, this looks like this. I'm going to go through each one and make this little shape. And then after I have that little shape, I'm gonna color in around it, but still within the petal. Just gonna fill that in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for all the petals now. Okay, so I'm actually going to leave those little uh, shapes in here white because I think that looks really nice with the red. So I'm not even gonna color those in. I think I'm just going to go ahead to the next step which is going to be cutting out around your petals. So you just follow the line on the outside of the petal. Move inward. I usually have to rotate it a few different ways to get all the angles that I want. And 
and you're just gonna do it all the way around the flower. All right, so I have the very first layer of my flower done, uh, but I would really like it to have some more petals because it's looking a little thin right now. So for the next part, I'm gonna need another paper plate. And you can make the next set of petals just as long as the first set, or you can make them a little bit shorter just to make your flower a little more interesting and different. Um, doesn't matter what you do. I think I'll make my petals a little bit smaller just so there's a little more interest to the piece. It just looks a little bit different. And to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and establish the center again. That's gonna be right there. And this time when I'm doing my petals, I'm not gonna go all the way to the edge like I did. I'm gonna go just about that far. So it's really teeny tiny. And again, there's nothing wrong with going all the way to the edge on it. It'll just give you a bunch of beautiful full petals. So here's that shape. It's extremely similar to the first, but it's a little bit teenier. So I'm gonna go ahead and decide what kind of pattern I wanna do in it. I think I might just do the same pattern here. So I'm gonna go in with my smaller petals. Do that for each one. And then you're gonna go in and just like the last time, color in around them. So I have a shape very similar to the first one. Um, it's just a little bit smaller. And you can probably guess the next step, I'm gonna be cutting this one out. Right, so I have my teeny tiny flower ready. Um, there's a lot of excess paper plate here. You can actually recycle this. So um, I'm just gonna set that aside to be able to do that with later. So now I have these two little flower pieces. The next step is going to be to poke a hole in the center of each one. Um, you're gonna need to do this very carefully so you do not hurt yourselves but I'm just going to very gently twist. I'm not even going all the way through the paper flower because I don't wanna hurt myself. It might be best to have a parent help you just so it's safe. Now you're gonna take your little bitty fastener. Both parts of it are gonna be close together and you're gonna stick it through the first little flower and then the second one. Now on the back of it, all you need to do is pull these sides apart and kind of lay them flat on the flower so it looks like this on one side. And then on the other side, you have your spinning flower. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed making some homemade crafts today. If you want to learn to make more crafty stuff or take an art class, you can look up Rosewood Art Center online and register for a class.